Now that all the girls are pregnant, well, except for Luna, we are changing how we milk the girls in the morning. So it's gonna be a little bit different than what you guys are used to. We need some treats. Give Penny some pellets. Like, <laughs> there's like two there, pellets. There wasn't very much left in there. Here you go, Penny. We already gave Penny her grain, so now she's just chomping on pellets while Lydia milks her. Yeah. Penny, since she's not been pregnant, she's still producing a ton of milk. Yeah. Which is good for us, but also she's the most difficult one to milk, so it's she's it's a big really tough old udder. You have to squeeze so hard, so your hands get super tired when you milk Penny. But she's a good goat. Been with us a long time. Ethan's been away at a school trip for the last, uh, this last weekend, and um, he didn't miss us as much as he missed the cats. I miss my kitty. <laughs> Your kitties, excuse me. Uh, they don't care. Hi. This is not, hi, this is not for you. All right, bye Penny. You are? Yeah. So Doris, on the other hand, since she has so many babies in her and her milk has already started to dry up, we have decided to completely dry up a little bit earlier than normal. Normally you wait two months before they deliver. She's due April 6th and we're gonna dry her up early because her body is already telling us that she needs the, all the nutrients she can have. So that's Ethan's job. So just milk her halfway out, okay? Oh. Willow, the second you start scratching Willow, she stops and she goes into a trance. Then if I stop, <laughs> she moves again in the watch. Watch. You like that? Huh? You are so flipping cute, Willow. Did you eat all your food? Huh? She is the sweetest goat. It's so funny that Willow is so sweet since Penny's kind of a loner goat that doesn't like anybody, you know? Yeah. Choking your kitty? Or... <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm just playing with her. <laughs> I, arr, arr. Guys, now that Luna's not being milked anymore, you don't get to see her come up on the stand. So I'm just going to give her some treats. But I had a friend make her a new collar. No, stay there and we're gonna get her name on it once we figure out the correct depth or width of this and make sure that it's perfect for her. So right now her body is trying to get rid of these babies and kind of sad. She hasn't been showing any kind of difference in behavior or anything, just eating like normal and drinking like normal. So we're just watching and waiting. Oh Luna, you're so cute. If you haven't already, you need to watch the video of when Penny gave birth to Willow. A lot of you have found us through that video. And um, yeah, you gotta go watch it. It's so cute to see Willow as a little baby. She had this really sweet personality. We could tell right when she was born that she was super sweet. And um, we just could not get rid of her. We couldn't sell her. So we're hoping that Willow has some babies that we can keep because we love Willow's personality and we love her coloring. So hopefully she has a bunch of cute little babies we can I'm gonna sit down! Aww. <laughs> I didn't actually sit on her, I waited and... <laughs> oh, barely made it there. All right, Doris, you're done. We do have to milk Tilly, so might as well let Tilly up here. All right, come on. Now, Tilly, she still has a lot of milk, even though she's pregnant. Same, yeah. same far as long as Doris, but Doris has a bunch more babies. Tilly just has one. So we're gonna just stay on track and keep milking Tilly, oh, for another month or so. Mm -hmm. But she has a ton of milk still, which I'm surprised at. As derpy as Tilly is, and as mischievous as she is, I'm telling ya, she has great milking lines. I can't get both my hands in here without her. Oh really? Just because yeah. she's so little? She's so small. Alright, Tilly, you're done. Alright, Tilly, go. 
Relax with your one baby. <laughs> All right. Watch, we're gonna love Tilly's baby the most. Yeah, probably. Oh, you already ate. We already fed you. Bye. Have a good day. You get those chickens, Willow. You get them. Whoa. Put it in a jar to have and to hold. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we're waiting on a few materials here on the goat barn, but I've got a Kevin's craft over here for you in the feeder area. Sound good, guys? All right, it's all done. What? I put chains on here. Wow, they are fancy. Fa yeah, they are fancy chains, you're right. It's not a craft, do you think? Um, the chains were only like three dollars. Oh, okay. So it probably is a craft because if it's in under five dollars, then it is considered a craft. The only thing is, is it a good craft? Do you think? It's right in the middle, so I don't think the goats can... Okay. Uh, well, it's, we'll see. It's really well balanced, so I think it is a good invention. We shall see. They can't put their legs up. Look, they don't even try to put their legs up anymore, because if they step on it... Tips. Tips. So look, they just eat the hay out of it, right? Well, oh, look at that. What a good goat. Is it a craft or a craft over in the corner? It's a craft. Craft. A craft, so it's fancy. Over craft. in the corner. Look at this. No waste. Whatever falls down, they eat because there's no poop in it. That is the key. Tonight we're making something special, tilapia. Now, remember last year when we tried to grow tilapia in the pond and then they all died when it got too cold? Well, we're still trying to grow fish, catfish this year actually, that I think will be ready in a few months. But in the meantime, we still need to satisfy our seafood cravings. I just don't get people who don't love fish and seafood because it's a staple in our house. That's why we're trying to grow it ourselves outside. So tonight is gonna to be a special dinner. Tonight's sustainably raised tilapia meal is sponsored by HelloFresh. I know it can be annoying when channels do sponsorships, so we are incredibly thankful to you guys for being so supportive. HelloFresh has been sending us a meal to replace the times that we go out to eat, and truly, I love the simplicity of it. I feel like it's healthier and cheaper than takeout, and since we can't grow everything ourselves here in the desert, it's nice to have HelloFresh as that backup. I'm all about people learning how to cook from scratch, so I feel like this is a great middle ground for somebody that wants to start learning how to cook, or a busy family that just wants to eat healthy on a stressful night of the week. It's super fast because you can whip up a meal in about 30 minutes or less. We haven't had a meal that wasn't delicious even with all of our different taste preferences in this house. And a big bonus for me is that the packaging is almost entirely made from recyclable or already recycled content. The best part is that you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and you can skip a week whenever you need. You're just gonna grab the whole thing, is that how you eat it? Mm. When our catfish are ready, we are gonna have a big old fish fry. Yeah. HelloFresh is now from 566 per serving. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code WEEDUM10 during HelloFresh's New Year's sale for 10 free meals, including free shipping. 
My pillow. I know. You know, we never show the dogs. We're always showing everything outside. Yeah. But we've got some pretty cute puppies here. That's Minnie. She always has her tongue out. <laughs> she can do some tricks. Minnie, roll over. No, oh, that's Spin. <laughs> Lydia, help. It's really hard to get her to do roll over. Go you gotta it's go really down. Hard. Okay, Minnie, go sit down. There you go, just kind of. Dora's super old, she's like 14. Minnie's like four or something, right? Yeah. Is that bright? Okay, it's the first irrigation of the season and so we are gonna go out together and do it as a family because we love each other so much. It's cold. Cold. It's very cold. All right, gotta head all the way to the back of the property here. You had to bring the right tools, right, Ethan? The right tools. <laughs> Your kitty. Yeah. Let's see what all the animals are doing right now. Oh, just screaming and having fun. Hi. For some reason, the water is already coming in when it's not supposed to. Problem with irrigation in the middle of the night. It's so cold and I have to do it in the middle of the night. Yeah. If we're this, this starts the irrigation right now at 10 at night, but then it doesn't finish till one in the morning. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Good luck. And I'm always the one to do it. <laughs> Here it comes. A little bit of a difference. Cool. All right, time to open the ports. All right. And it starts flowing in. By morning time, this whole thing's gonna be filled up. Hopefully not too full. Better get somewhere safe, Hermione. You're gonna deliver piglets in the blood. Get cold, don't Kevin's worried that the irrigation is going to reach all of our animal structures, but that never usually, I don't know where to put this light, but that never usually happens because everything's raised up a little bit on a pad of dirt. So we'll see who's uh, right in the morning. Look how little Tilly is compared to Luna. <laughs> We've got all the lumber out of the lower part over here. So hopefully nothing reaches any of our structures. Should we get that random chicken? No. Aw, let's save that random chicken, Ethan. <laughs> Got it? Good job. Ethan's always worried about the chickens. <laughs> yeah. This bread is rock hard. I'll bet Hermione will carry it around for three hours while she tries to soften it up. Okay. <laughs> it's toast. <laughs> Tilly, get out of the way. She's got some sharp teeth there. There you go. Eat that this morning and be quiet. Tilly likes it. Tilly wants to taste it. She's afraid of that piggy. Oh. <laughs> no, run, Hermione, run! Take it away! Well, Kevin, the water barely got to the wood. I know. Well, it got all the way under my Oh, it did go under that? Siding. It went all the way. Oh, wow. Pretty crazy way how we water our yards, huh? Yeah. It's work in the middle of the night, but I guess it's worth it. That's what it's like living in the desert here in Arizona. Mm -hmm.